to welcome you back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. Uh, we got three and a half inches of rain over the last couple days, so we haven't been able to start planting corn like we planned on. Well, <clears throat> I made the video on these closing wheels from Shoops a couple days ago, and I put it on, and it's got a lot of views and a lot of interest. So I thought, well, let's go over another Shoops product that we put on our John Deere 7000. To fix worn items and I've seen a few guys talk about it and they've asked questions about how it works well what we're going to go over is the gauge wheel arm kits that shoots manufacturing cells that are adjustable for these old planters the nice thing about that kit is out in the field you do not have to have any shims to adjust the closing wheel against the disc opener and if your peg is worn where your disc opener rides this bushing slides over it and bottoms out against the frame of the planter and when you put the bolt in it holds it tight and square so it's not flopping around and you're losing your clearance on your disc opener between your disc opener and your gauge wheel. So all you have to do is this kit comes, it's the arm, grease fitting, the thread end bushing, and the roll pin. All you do is you take these off of your planter, your originals, drive the roll pin out, put the arm on, thread the threaded bushing in there, put your grease fitting on, come over to your corn planter, put it back on, slides right back on. And where did my bolt go? Put your bolt back in. And actually, what you want to do if you have really, if you farm fluffy muck, you want these as fairly tight as you can get them without having them too tight. From factory, when this planter was new, they said to either slip a business card or a playing card in between here, and that set the clearance. But we all know this planter is probably 25 years old and it's been over a lot of acres so that doesn't apply. Plus we're using, we're using our already used gauge wheels so all you got to really do is just make them so they just make contact with that disc opener. You don't want them to squeeze too hard but you want them to squeeze hard enough that it keeps debris from getting caught in there. And it's very crucial to make sure that these scrapers are in good shape to keep this disc opener clean. Because if that if stuff starts sticking to that disc opener, then it starts wedging in between here, and the next thing you know, you've got all this turning too hard, and the row unit just decides to push. So <clears throat> when you adjust these, make sure you hold these up to where you think they ride out in the field um, according to your depth and then let them adjust against the blade. Because if they adjust down here, they're gonna pinch it way sooner and that's not gonna be right. So you gotta hold them up the right height that they usually ride in the field and then adjust them. So this one is just a hair loose. So what we're gonna do is take an inch and three eighths wrench, loosen this up, make sure that's a little loose. And then you want to, let's see. Turn it in just a little bit, hold it up a little, and turn it in just a little. That feels perfect right there. It's rubbing just, just a little bit, it's perfect. So all we're going to do is tighten our bolt up, and by the time you tighten that up, perfect. Just finish tightening it the rest of the way, and that's all there is to it. Now it's as tight as it, or as tight as it's going to be for the age of the planter, and nothing's going to get pinched in there. Uh, the part number for these is uh, GWK1700 is the part number from Shoops, and I'm also going to put a screenshot of the picture of the website with part number on the end of this video. So 
that's it. I mean, it's, it's been a game changer for us. Made the planter plant like new. So it's a good product. So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.